Parsha Sa'era. Shalom na'ala viewers. This year is dedicated to the memory of Rachelea bas Rav Chaim Tzvi. So let's begin with Parsha Sa'era. Parsha Sa'era and next week's Parsha, Parsha Bo, go together because the two of them describe the Makos, the plagues. So I'm going to discuss a topic that is both in this week's Parsha and in next week's Parsha. And that is the hardening of Paro's heart. So let's begin. Perak Zion, chapter 7, Pasuk Aleph, verse 1. Vayomar Hashem al Moshe, and Hashem said to Moshe, Re'ena Satikha Elohim le Paro. Behold, see, I have made you a master for Paro, Vaaron Achicha Yen Echa, and Aaron your brother will be your Navi. What does this mean? that Aaron is going to be a Navi, a prophet. Does that seem really to fit into the context of the words? We know the context is that Hashem sends Moshe, and then Moshe tells Aaron what to say, and then Aaron is going to say what Moshe told him to power onto the Jewish people. So how does that fit with the word Navi, which normally we translate as prophet? So let's see what Rashi says. Yed Neviyecha will be your prophet, Kitargumo, the way Targum Unklus translated it, Yehi Mitur Gamencha, he's going to be your interpreter. And then Rashi goes on to explain that the word for Navi, prophet, is based on the phrase Niv Sfasayim, the movement, the speech of our mouths. So what a prophet does is he tells people what Hashem told him. Similarly, Aaron is going to tell the people and tell Paran what Moshe told him, so that way Aaron is, so to speak, Moshe's prophet. What it means is he's the one who is going to express what Moshe tells him. Continuing with verse base, verse 2. Atatat et kol You should speak everything that I command you, v'aron achicha yedaber al paro. And Aaron, your brother, will speak to, to paro, like we just explained. He's going to interpret and express what Moshe tells him. V'shilachat b'nei Yisrael merit so. And he, paro, will send the children of Israel from his land. V'ani ekshet et leiv paro. And I'm going to harden. Paro's heart. Viherbesi et ototai ve'et moftai ve'eretz mitzrayim. And I will multiply my signs and wonders in the land of Egypt. V'lo yishma alechem Paro. And Paro's not going to listen to you. V'nesati et yadi v'mitzrayim. And I will place my hand in Egypt. V'otseti et sivotai. And I will take out my legions. Et ami b'nei Yisrael. My nation, the children of Israel. Me'eretz mitzrayim. From the land of Egypt. B'shvatim g'dolim. With great judgments. V'yadu mitzrayim and mitzrayim. And Egypt will know. Ki ani Hashem. That I am God. B'ntosi et yadi al mitzrayim. When I stretch my arm. Over Egypt, vote Satan at Bnei Israel, and I will take out the children of Israel mitocham from from their midst. But Yas Moshe Shiva Aaron kasher tiva Hashem otam kenasu, and Moshe and Aaron did like Hashem commanded them, so they did. O Moshe ben Shmonim shana, and Moshe was eighty years old. Va Aaron ben Shalosh Shmonim shana, and Aaron was eighty three years old. B'dabram el Paro when they spoke to Paro. So here arises the great question, and the commentators, who almost all of them comment about it, ask this question, and then they call it the great question, which is, how can Hashem harden Paro's heart? So I think before we can answer the question of how is it just for someone, for Hashem to harden Paro's heart and seemingly take away his free will, I think we have to look at the verses and see why is Hashem hardening Paro's heart? What reason does Hashem give for hardening Paro's heart. So if you look at the verses that we just read, it says two basic ideas. Again, look in verse 3. Hashem says he's hardening Paro's heart. Why? In order to increase my wonders and signs within the land of Egypt. So somehow hardening Paro's heart is going to increase the miracles that Hashem is going to do. And then he continues and says, and why is he doing this? in order that the Egyptians should know that I am Hashem. So we see here that apparently increasing the wonders and signs lets the Egyptians know that God exists, that He is God. And again, why does Hashem need to harden Paro's heart to do this? Apparently, Paro would have sent out the Jews because of the plagues at some point. 
if not for the fact that Hashem hardened his heart. And Hashem has to harden the heart in order to increase the wonders. Just seeing five plagues is not enough to prove to the Egyptians Hashem's greatness and that Hashem exists. They need to see all ten in order to really internalize this message. So in order to allow this message to be transmitted to the Egyptians, in order to ensure that Egyptians truly understand that I am God, as Hashem says, Hashem has to harden Paro's heart. And that is the reason given in these verses. Okay, but Hashem speaks about hardening his heart, Paro's heart in other places. And what reason does he give there? So let's look and see. Turn to chapter 9, verse 27. That's Perak Tes, Pasuk Chafzayin, 